Hello everybody, welcome to another session of map work. I've uh, slightly improved from my previous version, or I hope so. Um, so what I've got here is a similar map to what you guys will be receiving for your test. You'll notice that on the left hand side we have the topographic map and on the right hand side we've got our auto photo map. Now there's various things that you will notice um, on these maps and I will go through them through uh, different parts but let's focus on part one on um, map work calculations. Now map work calculations for you guys there's two sections uh, one is coordinates and another one is working out the distance on the map. Now, our first part is coordinates. Okay, so take one. It's very important that you guys make use of the following, that you've got a ruler that's clearly indicating your lines or your millimeters because you want to work as accurate as possible. Secondly, also make sure that you guys have a piece of string. Thirdly, also make sure that you guys maybe have a piece of cloth with you or we can give you a, a piece of paper because when you also going to use your non very important your non-permanent fine liner it is important that you um, can um, wipe off all the excessive marks that you've made on the paper on the map okay so our first point here is coordinates so for examples, we want to know what's the coordinates for spot out 802. I'll make a little dot there, 802. Let me just write it on the side. Spot out 802. Okay, so the first thing, what we've done now is we've located the spot out. Okay, then we, uh, we need to start by drawing a line through the minute. Okay, so we need to work as accurate as possible. We draw a line straight through the minute. Okay, you can see the line crosses here through the minute and that's very important. And we're going to do exactly the same through east. Straight line and as you guys can see, we're cutting through the minutes. All right. Now, we always start with finding south first or uh, start with latitude in that case. All right. So what information do we already have on the map? Now, you'll notice on the top left hand corner, you've got 21 degrees, 10 minutes east on top. And on the right hand side is 21 degrees 15 minutes east. So that means we have passed five minutes to go from left to right. And similar if we look on the left hand side on top, it says 28 degrees 30 minutes south. And right at the bottom, it indicates 28 degrees and 35 minutes south. Um, so another five minutes has passed. So where's the minutes? Over here, this would be, I'm just going to write it in here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then here on the side, it would be 31, 32, 33, 34, and then of course 35. So it's just indication for yourself, maybe to make it easier. All right. Then, as I said, we start with South first. Now, what information do we have regarding South? We know that if we look at the degrees, it's 28 degrees. So we can write 28 degrees and how many minutes South? So it doesn't, as far as 802, doesn't fall in the 30 minutes South. It doesn't fall in the... 31 minutes south, but it falls under 32 minutes. So 32 minutes. And of course, we want to work out the seconds. So the seconds is um, 
vitally important. That's what we want to know. Please make sure that you write the um, uh, south location, right? The direction that you write south. If you don't write the letter south down and all your information is correct, you're going to lose the mark. So please, guys, please take note of this. Okay, uh, let's start. Oh, okay, when, what we can do, we can write east as well. Now, we always write south first. So just make a little point here. South first um, and then followed by east. All right. So east would be 21 degrees. And let's see. It's not 10 minutes, not 11, not... Yeah, it's 12 minutes. So it's 12 minutes and we want to know the seconds east. Okay what we want to work out so let's start with south first like i said okay so we need to measure the entire block all right this entire minute where we will find the spot at 802 now you've got to work very accurately and i'm going to place my ruler on the starting point of the line and sorry for this my my head might get into in the way but if we look here over here we it seems to be exactly 37 millimeters. So the whole minute, we've measured now, the whole minute is 37 millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna write it to my, um, here on the left as well. Okay. Um, whole minute for south equals 37 millimeters then we want to know how many minutes is used now you've seen that i've actually now measured from from south to north but what you guys have to do actually always is measure from north to where this line intersect so if we put the ruler exactly on here um this seems to be 11 millimeters right so then we write down the um what is it again the minute used the minute used is equal to 11 millimeters so ultimately we can write to see at the bottom as well um the minutes used is 11 millimeters so what you're going to do is you're going to take the 11 over the 37 times 60 over 1 right so if we do this calculation quickly the answer is 17.83 and you can round that off and the seconds would be 18 seconds south. Okay, so you guys just write that in. And now we're going to go east and we're going to work out east's coordinates. Again, we've got to measure the from west to east. And I'm just going to put the map a little bit down. It seems to be 33 millimeters. So the whole minute, well, the whole, I'm just going to write it here, the whole minute is 30, um, sorry, what did I say? 33 millimeters. Okay. Let's see if we've got uh, space here on top. Um, the whole minute. This is now for east, it's equal to 33 millimeters. Right, then we're going to do the minutes used. So we measure from west to east where this line intersect. And we'll see how many millimeters this is. As accurate as possible. And this is 31 millimeters. Okay, you write minutes used. 31 millimeters 
over 33 times 60 over 1. And we'll work this out quickly. Fifty six seconds. All right, right, fifty six seconds east. All right, and that's our answer. Now, what you can do afterwards, you can just uh, take your your um, if you got a cloth like this and wipe off all the marks that you've made. And when you estimate, not estimate now, but you're going to double check your answer, you'll notice that it's lying more or less so over here, where my finger is pointing would be the 30 second margin, and it's lying over there, which seems to be accurate, seems to, that it can be 18 seconds south, and to the east, it's very close to the 60 as uh, or the new minute so 50 second 56 seconds east seems to be the correct answer so please guys this is so important please make sure that you write your direction down like i said please first write south followed by east all right first latitude and then longitude so where will your marks be allocated it would be yes you have East and you have south as a direction, so um, your minutes, uh, your degrees and minutes are correct, and your seconds is correct as well. And that's for marks, and that's um, I would say relatively, if you understand the method, relatively easy for marks to get. Okay, hope this this helps uh, and. Help, helps uh, you to understand this whole thing a bit better. Remember what we do first, we locate the spot type. We draw a line through the minutes that it cuts through on both uh, latitude and longitude. And then we measure the whole minutes, whole minutes on either side. And then the minute used. So the minute used is where the line intersect with the minute. Okay, the minute used. And for south, you measure from north to south. And for east, west to east from the minutes.